Hello, pilots. We're going to uh, explore the community aircraft today. You know, these are the ones that come with the program. But when you click in here, all right, now if you want to go to the aircraft here, you can select all of these airplanes that we've started flying. We're down to the, uh, the Phenom. But right up here at the very top, there are community contributed aircraft. And if you click on there, there are dozens. There's the A-10 Thunderbolt. There's a whole lot of Airbuses. Some are better than others. Uh, some fly better than others. Uh, some models are more detailed than others. I like a few personally, um, but uh, I also have a really good computer. Uh, one of the probably the most asked for requested one would be the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. And this guy can be a little tricky to fly too, and that uh, he doesn't like you to pull up too hard when you're taking off. Now this one does no flaps, no slats, no air brakes, except um, he does have a drag chute, which unlike in real life, can be deployed in flight to slow down because uh, this guy I've had him up to 5,000 knots so uh, since they put a ceiling on the autopilot at 100,000 feet it's kind of hard to get him up that fast but landing him is not too difficult uh, you let the gear out and cut the throttles he slows down pretty good So kind of like with the shuttle, that, that's a community contributed one too, which we'll fly that one next. Um, I can deploy the drag chute to slow down quick and then click it again and suck the chute back up. Well, of course you can't do that in real life. I'm gonna set the brakes. I'm down to about 250 knots. So we can look at some of the others. I like the space shuttle. This one's kind of tricky to, to, to fly at first. You're pointing straight up instead of on the runway. Um, I'm paused. And you don't hear anything until you turn on the engines. Um, if you want to look at them on the ground, you can drag your mouse, pull them out a little bit. Um, you line up in the center, push them forward just a little bit so you can see where you're going. And uh, watch your horizon. Um, then to uh, release the, uh, the booster rockets, you press the flaps. So it's like extending the flaps with the open bracket. That goes and then the tank and then the X button uh, it will open the cargo bay and uh, when the cargo bay is open the space shuttle flies right above there back where we were okay with the space shuttle I mean I'm sorry that space this you know, we're in the space shuttle but with the space station deployed if you reverse the thrusters you dock with the station just like that X 
brakes and the new F button I don't think does anything not really you can already see we're at uh, 25,000 feet we're at a thousand knots uh, this guy this guy gets up and goes um, you can there is no autopilot you can get into orbit with this this guy it's kind of fun um, let's see if we can turn around here we're headed west so we're gonna be coming into runway 88 <laughs> And just like the SR, we can deploy the chute and still retract it if we need to, which we will. I need to go east. We are that far from Miami already. I can barely see. Go real fast. There it is. So, yeah, deploying the gear at 800 knots is probably not the best thing to do, but it is a simulation. <clears throat> Landing this guy is, it can be really tricky. Um, and kind of disappointing, you go out to altitude, you're able to find your base, come back, and then you catch a tire and it uh, spins around and ruins your entire flight, but that's just the way it goes. And then, fortunately, in a simulator, you don't break anything. You just restart and try again. Now, when I'm lining up, I uh, I click the mouse button here and pull the view just below so I can see the runway. I'm still going 500 knots, but that's okay. This guy needs a lot of airspeed to remain in flight. Brakes, air brakes, ready to deploy. I don't know why that's all in one ear. So that's the shuttle. Uh, there's a couple of other cool ones. Um, I like the um, uh, I like the Grumman E2 Hawkeye. Um, landing him on the run on the uh, aircraft carrier is fun. Um, the Supermarine Spitfire is a lot of fun too. Oh, we got stereo now. It's interesting. This guy can be a little tricky to fly, but that's part of the fun. It's already up to 200 knots. This guy will lose speed real fast. He doesn't have any spoilers. This is giant flap. Not this time.
There you go. There's the Spitfire. Beautiful little plane. And there's several more, but you can find them up here. Um, again, you click that little arrow down, it, it pushes those down, and you have all these to choose from. And that's how to get to the community contributed aircraft on GeoFS. Thank you for watching.